In this video, I'll show the changes for Overgrowth Alpha 123, which you can try if you've pre-ordered. This week I started working on the AI character's awareness of the world based on sight and sound. I started by limiting their field of view. It's about 180 degrees right now, but the peripheral vision can't see very far. If you step into a character's field of view while he's in hostile mode, then he'll target you and start to chase you around. I also wanted to make sure that characters can't see through walls, so I added some ray casting checks to determine if there's a clear line of sight. This test works by casting a ray from the character's eyes to a random point on the target and checking for intersections. This is pretty efficient because it only does one ray cast at a time. It also adds some realism by making characters notice full exposure faster than they notice just an ear or a foot that's out of cover. Rabbits aren't especially known for their keen eyesight, so it was also important to add a sense of hearing. To do that, I added a system to track sound events and notify any characters within range, with a range based on the volume of the sound. This means you can still sneak pretty close to a guard with quiet steps, but if you jump around or fall over, then he can hear you from far away. Now that it's possible to hide behind objects, the AI has to figure out what to do if its target disappears. For now, I just made it assume that the target is a Newtonian object that will just keep moving in the same direction. This isn't a very good assumption, but I'll add better searching behavior later, and for now it's fun to trick the AI into going the wrong way. That's it for this week. If you'd like to pre-order and try the alpha for yourself, you can do that at wolfire.com slash pre-order. If you'd like to hear about development news as soon as it happens, you can follow me on Twitter at Wolfire.